Jonathan Lee Riches investigates. Got some breaking news, everyone. This man right here, Rodney Harrison. He quit as Suffolk County Police Commissioner. Rodney Harrison. This is one of the investigators, lead investigators, that helped solve the Rex Hewerman case, the Gilgo Beach murders. He resigns today, Friday. He resigns. He's been on the job for about two years. What in the world is going on? in Suffolk County. Let me give you some information about his resignation. He quit. Check it out. Rodney Harrison is stepping down as Suffolk County Police Commissioner. There is Rodney Harrison right there. Rodney Harrison is stepping down as the Suffolk County Police Commissioner. His last day is Friday, today. Harrison confirmed his resignation to Eyewitness News on Thursday night. Suffolk County is getting a new County Executive Tuesday and it has been widely understood that Harrison, hired by Steve Ballone, would not be sticking around for the new administration. The 50-year-old informed Suffolk County officers of his plan in an internal memo. Harrison served for nearly two years becoming the first black commissioner in the department's history after assuming office on December 31st, 2021. Among Harrison's accomplishments were helping the department crack the infamous Gilgo Beach murders case. Before taking the commissioner job, he vowed to capture a suspect in that case, which have gone unsolved for over a decade. Malone, a Democrat, is not running for re-election this Tuesday due to term limits. It comes as a red wave has washed away Democrat seats in Suffolk County in recent years. So it's more about possibly a Republican issue, Democrat issue. I don't know, but this police commissioner, Rodney Harrison, who cracked the Rex Hewerman case, is leaving. What does that ultimately mean with the Gilgo Beach investigation and under other unsolved crimes in the case? Let me know what you think. So what does this all mean for Rodney Harrison and the Rex Hewerman investigation? Well, Rex Hewerman is in custody, charged with multiple murders, Gilgo Beach murders, but there's a lot of unsolved murders. Jane Doe's in that area. Bodies are still popping up that Rex Hewerman could be involved with. But now that he goes, what does this mean? Remember... Before Rod, uh, Rodney Harrison here took his job and a group of people decided to find out who the Gilgo Beach murders was, the Rex Hewerman case was unsolved for over a decade. What's gonna, who's going to be the new police chief and are they going to put an emphasis on the Gilgo Beach investigation? It's very, very interesting. Is there systematic issues going on? Seems like he's a Democrat, maybe some Republicans come in and then different mindsets on how they're handling cases in that area. It's very, very interesting stuff, but I think it does affect possibly unsolved murders on uh, in the Gilgo Beach area and maybe even the Rex Hewerman investigation. New crop of people, new leadership, new direction. Or do you think everything will be the same? The next commissioner will follow what Rodney Harrison kind of did. It's it's, it's stunning. Um, you know, election is coming up, and this could be because you know his chief up there, higher up, could be leaving too. So you know, he follows suit. But it's very interesting stuff. I'll be following this, and I've been covering the Rex Hewerman case. I went to all the locations, been to South Carolina, to Rex Hewerman's brother's home. Uh, guy is shocking what he did and was able how he was able to get away with this case so long you know prior leadership didn't put an emphasis on finding him we'll talk soon and check out my playlist i am jlr investigates covering this case everyone be safe